All right, welcome back to part six in the Super Data Science Pattern Recognition Series where we're building a k-means cluster, k-means classifier, to visualize our plot and visualize our data. The last video, in the last video, we set up the main part of our function, the main part of our k-means at least, where we're passing in metrics to evaluate and get some results on our data. What we want to do is actually continue this and we're going to wrap it up in the sense of passing in our principal component analysis. We want to initialize it with a k-means, a uh, random, and we are going to be running our algorithm once in the sense, since it is um, the case of the seating of the center is deterministic, it's deterministic, excuse me, k-mean algorithm will only be run with, um, initialized with once for our final bench k-means value, which you will see when we are working with uh, PCA. So that being said, let's jump right back into this. We are going to be defining on bench k-means with our k-means. We want to initialize to k-means, comma, number of clusters, equals the number of digits. And for init, we want to set the value to 10. All right, go outside that, put another comma. We want the name to be equal to k means. And we have to, again, set our data to equal depth. All right, moving on, let's take this again, since it's, it's pretty similar in the sense where we're going to be passing and we're going to be, um, excuse me, that, let's take this again, copy it, return, and we're going to pass that in. We're going to make a quick change here as we're going to be using the init as a random. So switch that to random. We have everything else the same. Our number of clusters is going to be equal to the number of digits. Our number initial is equal to 10. Name, um, we also want to switch. Again, we're using random. And our data is going to be kept as data. So to finally move on to the PCA, our principal component analysis, we're going to be passing in PCA as in equals to PCA. We're taking the number of components is equal to number of digits. You see a similar process compared to above. And we want to fit it. We're going to be passing in our data to fit the data to our PCA. And for our last definition here, we want to pass our bench k means as k means, open parentheses, initialize with PCA components, comma, number of clusters. We want to set equal to the number of digits. We're going to be setting it to run once again, since, uh, as we stated before, the seating of the centers is deterministic. That's why we're going to be running the k-means algorithm once here with the uh, number of init as one. We have it set to equal one. All right. So after that, we need to add our comma. Keep it just to keep it open. Name. We're going to be calling it um, PCA base since we're using our PCA. And again, our data equal to depth. All right, and when you finish that, let's run it. Make sure everything's correct. Let's try and run it one final time with those quick corrections in there. I had those uh, misspelled uh, metric values. And you can see, we have returned our results. We have our metrics each passed in for our homogeneity, completeness, V measure, adjusted RAND, adjusted mutual, and silhouette score, and, and, uh, in, addition, and in addition to our PCA base. Now we have our k-means, we have a random, and our PCA base with the values below. All right, so we'll be moving on and continuing. We have to do um, a little more reshaping, but in the next video, we're going to reshape quickly, and we're going to jump uh, into plotting our data. So thank you for joining me again, and I will see you in the next video. As always, re remember to subscribe to the Super Data Science channel. So I'm incredible things going on within the industry. You get up-to-date weekly information, post any questions you may have, and I will see you in the next video.